This is Hall County Sports, brought to you by Green Ford on Browns Bridge Road in Gainesville. Check out the latest deals. Remember, when you go green, go Green Ford. By Mountain View Auto Repair, a full-service shop for all of your automotive needs. Call Danny at Mountain View Auto Repair, 770-535-7278. And by McEver Road United Methodist Church. Visit us on McEver Road in Oakwood. With three worship services, Kids Town and Adult Small Groups, McEver Road United Methodist Church, dedicated to transforming the world through the good news of Jesus Christ. Hello again and welcome to another edition of Hall County Sports Television. I'm your host, Gary Glenn. For those of you who are regular watchers of this show, you know that Hall County Sports is no stranger to championships at all levels and in various sports. Well, another world championship has come to Hall County, this time in Taekwondo. Lakeview's Cameron Kane, who will be a sophomore next year with the Lions, just recently took the Extreme Martial Arts Weapons World Championship in Little Rock, Arkansas. That shouldn't come as too much of a surprise to people who know the honor student and soccer player who's not just working on getting a driver's license, but a pilot's license as well. He also has plenty of parental support. In fact, his mom, Tracy, at the Worlds finished third in forms, fourth in weapons, and eighth in sparring. And we welcome to the show now both Tracy and Cameron Kane. Folks, thanks for taking time out to be with us. Thank you for Our having pleasure. us. Thank uh, you very much. Well, now, first of all, now I guess <clears throat> when I was a boy, we saw Bruce Lee, you know, in, in uh, the movies and in uh, the Green Hornet when he played Kato, and then, then um, the Carradine guy comes along and does Kung Fu. So everybody got a little bit interested in martial arts at that time. So uh, what got the family interested in Taekwondo Karate? Well, I thought it would be a great venue for him to build his confidence, his discipline, because when he got into it, he was very young. So it's really helped in all those areas of his life. And then I got into it because I watched him do it for a few years. Mm -hmm. And okay. I thought it looked like fun. It was something that I thought I could do. And um, it was a new challenge. So so he's got into it young, Cameron. How young? I'd say about seven years old I was. Okay. I started getting into and, it. And how old are you now? I'm 15 years old. 15. So you've been doing it for eight years or so. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, what got you? Uh, now, your mom said she sort of pushed you into it, but were you interested in it at all as a boy, or did it take a little urging? Oh, no. I, I always thought that um, the idea of being able to defend yourself and also learn how to beat someone up, I always thought that was kind of interesting. And <laughs> <laughs> it just, it really, it really appealed to me. It really appealed to me. And I just said, hey, let's do it. Okay. Now, let's talk about the World Championships. What all did you have to do to be world champion? I'm assuming now in weapons, you don't actually fight anybody. Is, is, it, is it form competition? Are you subjectively judged like when you see the, the Olympic gymnast doing a routine and the judges have to say, oh, they did this or they did that? Is that, uh, that the way it goes? Pretty much exactly that's how it goes. You see, you start off like at Worlds, they have the top 10 competition. They usually do that in like one or two days or so. Then the next day, they move on to um, the new season, the new competition season. And at that tournament, you can rack up about 15 points for first place. And from there on, after that tournament, you're gonna have uh, several other tournaments going on almost about every single weekend. You'll find one. Um, they can range in um, point values depending on what place you get. And basically, by the end of um, April, you see how many points that you've racked up, and it goes into who all's got the top 10 in points. Uh -huh. And based on that one, it's... Um, so, so it's like a season-long competition. You have to qualify to be invited to the world. Is that what I'm hearing? Absolutely. Yes. Okay, okay. I got you. So once you're there, what happens? Once you're there, um, usually the first day of competition is going to be um, the top ten. Um, basically what they do, they assign you a ring. You head over to that ring, and all the, the top ten people in the world who um, qualified for the uh, title, you go in, and starting at whoever's number ten, they um, start you first, they judge the, um, the first three contestants, which is going to be whoever was number 10, number 9, and number 8. In my case, there was, um, there was a three-way tie for 10th place, so we all got judged at the same time. So, so you came in at 10th? Yes, I, um, I had 10th wow. in points. Okay, so, so but once you're in the top 10, is everybody kind of on an equal playing field, or do they look at the guy that qualified first and so, say, oh, he's the one to beat? Oh, yeah, absolutely, because okay. they usually reserve the higher scores for, I'd say, the, uh, the top five, and it's very rare that you ever see someone um, from not in the top five to uh, get the championship title. So you're not you're there alone, and you're doing your thing with the uh, what's what is, what is this apparatus called? Oh, these are um, they're called commas in Korean. They're called a uh, sangnats, and basically, um, yeah, I competed with these. I won my title with these, and 
I say the thing I like most about them is being able to spin them around and do funky, do funky tricks with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen the guys with the nunchucks, you know, and all that. Right. So, so you have different weapons. Is you use a kind of a weapon of the choice. Yes, it's a weapon of choice. You can find anyone going from you have a nunchucks to um to these babies or even a bow staff. Yeah, I've seen them with a staff where they throw around like that. Now I got to ask you, Trey. Are you you finished third. In forms, fourth in weapons, and eighth in sparring. So you're kind of an all-around. Is this kind of like a decathlon, the decathlon of, of taekwondo? <laughs> um, well, I was in five different events. So I was in top ten in five different events. I was in um, traditional forms, sparring, traditional weapons, and extreme forms and extreme weapons. Now, while I didn't um, get a medal in the world championships, um, my rankings were, as you mentioned earlier. Stay in touch. Let us know how you do. Okay. You know okay. where we are now. Yes, we know who indeed. you are. Yes. So, yes. Sir. Cameron, I congratulations, Thank you Tracy. Much. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Appreciate okay. It. All right. Cameron and Tracy K. Taekwondo. Don't mess with them. We're back with more Hall County Sports. More Georgia Games information coming up. Hi, I'm Rob Bruce. I'm the new pastor here at McEver Road United Methodist Church. And one of the things I've noticed here in Hall County is the number of churches that are here, and that is a great blessing. But it can also be a problem if you're trying to find a new church or you're investigating Christianity for the first time. There's so many churches and it seems like there's so little time. Well, we invite you to be our guest at McEver Road United Methodist. We will not give you a high pressure approach. You can come in, make up your own mind, at one of three of our worship services. We have three diverse worship services, one at 8.30, which is a gospel format service. We have a 10 o'clock service, which is not contemporary, uh, but it's uh, something more edgy and different, and we'd like to invite you to that if that's your style. And then at 11 o'clock, we have a traditional Methodist service. So we'd love for you to come be our guest and uh, come and see. If you are looking for a quality used car, then look no further than the car store on McEver Road between Gainesville and Beaufort. You won't find clunkers or junkers at the car store, just vehicles you'll be proud to own. At the car store, they can finance you on the spot, no matter what your credit is. They have a variety of plans. You can even phone your payments in. At the car store, they've been giving outstanding service to the community for over 20 years. At the car store, everybody rides. Come on down to the car store. We can make you happy. My name's Bob Watson, and I guarantee it. There are moments in life that you wish would last forever. Dreams that really do come true. Treasures worth protecting, and a future to prepare for. Turner Wooden Smith is with you every step of the way. Established in the Gainesville area in 1905, Turner Wooden Smith has become Northeast Georgia's largest independent insurance agency by offering professional service at competitive prices. Turner Wooden Smith, ensuring your future since 1905. We are back. I'm Gary Glenn, and this is Hall County Sports. Now, last week we told you about the Georgia Games powerlifting. Had a feature on that with some of our local weightlifters. Well, here's another update on those games. The North Georgia Screaming Eagles Power Soccer Team took the championship in that event at the local YMCA by defeating the Atlanta Tigers 4-3 and the Charlotte Carrollton Power Nators 3-0. Austin Parker had the hat trick in that shutout. Now, overall, the Screaming Eagles Power Soccer Team had another successful season. They finished third this year after winning two consecutive Southeastern League regular season titles. And they also recently hosted the United States Power Soccer Association's President's Conference Cup Tournament. That featured six teams from across the country. Far away is Oakland, California. Screaming Eagles rolled all the way to the championship game, but they lost 2-0 to the Glass of Chicago Fire. Now, this upcoming season, the Eagles will be competing in the Champions Conference, and that begins with the America's Champions Cup in October. We welcome to the show now a guy that we've had with us before, Justin Presley of the North Georgia Screaming Eagles Power Soccer Team. First of all, Justin, congratulations on the gold medal. Thank you, thank you. So uh, tell me a little bit now about the uh, about the season that you had so far because it was a successful season, an overall record of 20 wins, seven losses, and four ties. Well, we did we did pretty well um, this year. the 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 U.S. Power Soccer Association we were two divisions, Division One, Division Two. We played in Division Two, and this year we broke into conferences, five conferences: the uh, Premier Conference top, Champions Conference second, and third. Conference down as President's Conference, we played in it. And um, we only lost one game in conference, which was actually the championship game. 
Tell me a little bit about the history of, of this sport and how you got involved in power soccer. Well, I, uh, it, the U.S. Power Soccer Association, USPSA, it was started in 2006. Um, actually, power soccer, it was um, started in Paris, France, or actually France. And then it came over here in the uh, mid to late 90s, uh, and several teams started. They came uh, to um, Swanee, and mm. they... Um, several team or several countries and they brought all the rules together because people were playing with different rules yeah. different size balls and things and so they um they came together and they got one set of rules and then the uh the it's called fitba it's like fifa but it's uh football or international football federation fipfa Fo power chair football in the rest of the okay. world and so at, uh, in 06, the USPSA was started, and um, now we have 60 teams around. There's five teams in Georgia, um, and then we have the Southeastern League. There's a, there's three um, regions, the West region, Midwest, and the Eastern region. And the way we got involved, Jerry Frick, he is the Eastern Regional, Man uh, Eastern Regional Director for the USPSA, and he came down and we had a um, we had a uh, little clinic over at the Sardis um, gym, mm -hmm. and then we started the team, the uh, North Georgia Screaming Eagles, with uh, with the help of the uh, Hall County Parks and Leisure, and uh, we'd been playing at South Hall Community Center, and then when the new um, center opened up at Flowery Branch, um, we started playing there. It was really nice. And you find that the power soccer attracts people who have been athletes at another time in, in different sports and because of happenstance or whatever they wind up in a, in a power chair? Well, a lot, sometimes, you know, you have people with spinal cord injuries and those folks, you know, may have been uh, competitive in the past. And that's what, I mean, I played quarterback for uh, Lanier Elementary six years and we lost four games in six years. And so I was really competitive. And, you know, when I'm not able to play anything, you know, it's just, I thought it was over, but then when power soccer, came around and it you know it really gets the competitive juices flowing and you know for the for those with spinal cord injury yes but other people that use power chairs someone might be might have been you know injured or born with a disability yeah. you know right, muscular right. dystrophy there's a lot of a lot of different disabilities and so those folks they may never have been uh, able to enjoy you know competition and team sports and things so with them, they are maybe not quite as competitive as I am, but you know, once they start playing, once you get a taste of it, and if you have any kind of you know um, competition in, in your blood, then you're ready to go with it. Plus, it's fun, and it helps you overall feel better about things, right. and the self-esteem, and all of those things that, mm -hmm. that competitive sports and, and team sports teaches us, right? Exactly right, and uh, you know, and and people they may not have a whole lot in their life if uh, unless they have a good family um, right. you know unless they're able to take care of themselves then you know they sit at home and not be able to do things this is a outlet they can do to, to get out and and I mean, it is really fun right, if people want to get involved in that what do they need to do how do they contact you for more information or to make a contribution yeah well they can go to uh, the US Power Soccer Association is www.powersoccerusa.net um, and our website is ngascreamingeagles.org. Mm -hmm. And then also uh, contributions, really, um, didn't mention this, but uh, Team USA, USPSA sponsors Team USA. They are, we actually won the World Cup. The first World Cup was held in Japan in 07. And this year, it's going to be, it's, it's the 2011 World Cup. It's going to be in Paris, France in um, November. And Team USA um, is in need of some assistance to be able to get over there. And so there you can find information on the, the Power Soccer website. And, um, and then we have a donation way to donate online on ours also. All right. So. Justin, thanks for coming in. All right. Appreciate it very much. Yes, I Good appreciate. luck to the Screaming Eagles in the future. All right. Thanks a lot, Gary. Okay. We are back with some Olympic memories after these timeouts.
Proper maintenance is vital to the life of your car. Let the experts at Mountain View Auto Repair take care of all your vehicle needs. Owner Danny Hammock has over 50 years of experience in the automotive business and has earned a reputation of being honest and fair with his customers. We try to treat everybody like I want to be treated. You know, that works out pretty good. And uh, try to keep a price as low as possible, keep people coming in and give them a good price for their money. We do whatever turns up on a car, any kind of work, any kind of car, just uh, it don't really matter. We do it all. People say, when are you going to quit and retire? I say, oh, probably never. You know, as long as the Lord let me work, I'll probably be here working. I've been trading with Danny at Mountain View Auto Repair for about 20 years. I've always been very happy with his work. It's very easy for me to talk with him. He doesn't talk down to me. He explains it in a manner that I can understand. Most of my customers are like friends here. You know, I've known them so long, and I count them as, most all of them as friends to me. Remember, when you want honest, reliable service, put Mountain View Auto Repair under your hood. Hi, I'm Rob Bruce. I'm the new pastor here at McEver Road United Methodist Church. And one of the things I've noticed here in Hall County is the number of churches that are here, and that is a great blessing. But it can also be a problem if you're trying to find a new church or you're investigating Christianity for the first time. There's so many churches and it seems like there's so little time. Well, we invite you to be our guest at McEver Road United Methodist. We will not give you a high pressure approach. You can come in, make up your own mind, at one of three of our worship services. We have three diverse worship services, one at 8.30, which is a gospel format service. We have a 10 o'clock service, which is not contemporary, uh, but it's uh, something more edgy and different, and we'd like to invite you to that if that's your style. And then at 11 o'clock, we have a traditional Methodist service. So we'd love for you to come be our cast and uh, come and see. There are moments in life that you wish would last forever. Dreams that really do come true. Treasures worth protecting and a future to prepare for. Turner Wooden Smith is with you every step of the way. Established in the Gainesville area in 1905. Turner Wooden Smith has become Northeast Georgia's largest independent insurance agency by offering professional service at competitive prices. Turner Wooden Smith, insuring your future since 1905. Welcome back. I'm Gary Glenn. This is Hall County Sports. Well, once again, the Olympic venue at Lake Lanier will be put to good use as the National Canoe and Kayak Championships will be contested August 4th through 7th. The event is expected to attract the members of the junior and senior USA national teams. And the local Lanier Canoe Kayak Club will be going for national title number 10. Yours truly is going to be the meet's lead announcer. Well, now, this past Sunday, the Gainesville Times newspaper ran a series of articles on the 15th anniversary of the 1996 Olympic Games coming to our area and people's memories of those 96 games. Well, a couple of years before that date, I was working at the old WNGM-TV 34 in Athens. And when it became apparent that we had a shot at hosting the canoe kayak rowing events, we at that television station were approached by the local Olympic efforts about helping out. Well, you see, even in those days, the world was turning to video to showcase things. So we got to work, and with the cooperation of a lot of people, pulled it off. I did the writing and the voiceover, and in an extreme case of good fortune, sat down and did it in one take. Don't know if I could do that again. Probably not. Well, a fellow by the name of Chris Keeler did a lot of the videography and the editing, and we got that thing done and shipped it out, and the rest, as they say, is history. The Times had approached us here at NGVPHCS-TV about, about using that video on its website. Well, I was out of state. Those left behind had a hard time sorting through my non-existent filing system to find that video. Well, we may can still link up with our buddies at the Times, but in case we don't, I thought we'd let you, our viewers, take a look at what was given a lot of credit for helping us here in the Gainesville Hall County area get a piece of the 1996 Olympic Games. So let's hop in the Wayback Machine to more than 15 years ago. Out of the hills of Habersham, down the valleys of Hall, I hurry amain to reach the plain, run the rapid and leap the fall, split at the rock 
and together again, accept my bed or narrow or wide, and flee from folly on every side, with a lover's pain to attend the plain, far from the hills of Habersham, far from the valleys of Hall. Georgia's poet laureate, Sidney Lanier, had no way of knowing when he published those lines about Northeast Georgia in 1877, that the Chattahoochee River, whose song he sang, would one day form a mighty lake that bears his name, Lake Sidney Lanier, a lake that furnishes life and recreation to much of North Georgia, a lake that stands ready to play a big role in the games of the 26th Olympiad. The Gainesville Hall County area offers a unique blend of old charm Southern hospitality and 1990s cosmopolitan sophistication, a center of banking and commerce with over 40 international affiliates located within the county. One of the true business hubs of Northeast Georgia, it is a growing area, presently around 100,000 people strong, yet with ample room for the permanent resident or the casual visitor to relax and enjoy the beauty of the Appalachian Mountain area. In May 1993, the community helped stage the Southeast Regional Youth Championship Rowing Regatta at Gainesville's Longwood Park. Another site is available as well, which offers more of an arena as a full venue. In northern Hall County, and easily accessible by a number of routes, this smooth, straight stretch of open water would be ideal for the rowing events of the 1996 Summer Games. The people of the Gainesville Hall County region are hard-working people who stand ready to help our state host an Olympic celebration that the world will long remember. The hospitality and volunteer spirit of our area is legendary. The professional and active sports council presently sits in place to provide the liaison between the local community and the participating group in preparation for your events. Plus, consider the legacy of rowing and canoeing that could be left behind in an area such as Lake Lanier, already designated for recreational use. Perhaps above all, consider the lake, deep, serene, and beautiful. It represents a slice of Georgia and a legacy of the area that people from all over the world can regard with fond memories. A link from a 19th century poet to the centennial Olympic Games and beyond to the 21st century. Now, if you look at that video really, really carefully, you'll notice some of the proposals didn't go exactly as planned, but all in all, it's pretty close. Now, you may have had a chance to drop by during those games, either here in Hall County or in the Atlanta area, maybe even somewhere else in Georgia during those games. I had some in Athens, I know, and things like that. I know my wife and sons and I did, and we had a good time. It's something I'll always treasure. Hard to believe it's been 15 years. Ain't it funny how time slips away? We're going to slip away for these words and be back to close out this show in just a moment. If you are looking for a quality used car, then look no further than the car store on McKeever Road between Gainesville and Buford. You won't find clunkers or junkers at the car store, just vehicles you'll be proud to own. At the car store, they can finance you on the spot, no matter what your credit is. They have a variety of plans. You can even phone your payments in. At the car store, they've been giving outstanding service to the community for over 20 years. At the car store, everybody rides. Come on down to the car store. We can make you happy. My name's Bob Watson, and I guarantee it. Proper maintenance is vital to the life of your car. Let the experts at Mountain View Auto Repair take care of all your vehicle needs. Owner Danny Hammock has over 50 years of experience in the automotive business and has earned a reputation of being honest and fair with his customers. We try to treat everybody like I want to be treated, you know. That works out pretty good and uh, try to keep our price as low as possible to keep people coming in and give them a good price for their money. We do whatever turns up on a car, any kind of work, any kind of car, just uh, it don't really matter. We do it all. People say, when are you going to quit and retire? I say, oh, probably never. You know, as long as the Lord let me work, I'll probably be here working. I've been trading with Danny at Mountain View Auto Repair for about 20 years. I've always been very happy with his work. It's very easy for me to talk with him. He doesn't talk down to me. He explains it in a manner that I can understand. 
Most of my customers are like friends here, you know, I've known them so long and I count them as, most all of them as friends to me. Remember, when you want honest, reliable service, put Mountain View Auto Repair under your hood. What does Applied Images Incorporated mean? It means real people answering the phone. It means real people servicing your business or school. Quick response along with quality production is demanded in our world of business today and no one knows that better than Applied Images Incorporated. After years of working with graphic artists, marketing managers, public relations departments, architects and engineers, we have developed an extensive experience in our trade that is second to none. We excel in our knowledge of graphics and printing, signs, banners, posters, brochures, training manuals for schools and businesses. And now custom t-shirt printing is available. You must see our line of t-shirt designs. What does Applied Images Incorporated mean? It means quick response, quality production, and real people answering the phone. Churches, businesses, schools, picnics, trade show displays. Call us today for any printing or graphics needs that you may have. Applied Images Incorporated at Gainesville Whiteprint, 312 Bradford Street in Gainesville, 770-534-2086. I'm Gary Glenn. We're wrapping it up with a few words here, a couple of other local notes for your consideration. Will Peoples is now a two-time winner of the Gainesville City Golf Championship. Peoples, who won it back in 2008, shot a final round 200 par 70 this past Sunday. In fact, he led it wire to wire to win the 2011 title by five strokes over runner-up Pep Brown. That happened the last round this last Sunday at Chattahoochee Golf Course. Other division winners included Jimbo Wilkins, Gene Weschler, Clay Hoffman. Now, in the overall net division, Wilkins was the winner on the second hole of a sudden death playoff against Jeff Wagoner. Congratulations to a couple of our local youngsters. Johnson soccer player Chandler Steele, a rising sophomore for the Lady Knights, was chosen to represent the U.S. on the 15 and under soccer team and the Gothia Cup in Sweden. She was picked for the team through the recruiting service 365 Sports as one of the top prospects in the country in her age group. She actually received the notification that she made the USA team in January. Gothia Cup brings teams together from players from 73 countries for games in a tournament-style format. Finals were scheduled for July 23rd at the 43,000-seat Ulivi Stadium in Gothenburg in Sweden. Also, congratulations to Gainesville graduate Dante Carr. Dante, who was a redshirt safety on the Arkansas football team, earned the Southeastern Conference first-year academic honor roll while majoring in kinesiology. He was a freshman with the Hogs this year. He had 104 tackles, three interceptions, and forced two fumbles for the 13-1 Gainesville Red Elephant team that played for the state AAA title. Gainesville Park and Recreation's 9-10-year-old All-Star Baseball team lost out by a couple of runs in the state championship game. They lost to Columbus 6-4 in Tacoa and only their second outing in that 9-10-year-old division. They had gone 4-0 in district play in Monroe and finished 5-1 in the state tournament. All right, this week, the summer camps have continued cheerleading at Flowery Branch and volleyball at Lakeview. Also, the Seth Viney Youth Foundation, along with Gainesville Parks and Rec and the Boys and Girls Clubs of Hall County, were holding basketball camps at the Boys and Girls Clubs. Proceeds will benefit Seth's Foundation for Kids, a very worthy cause. West Hall, meanwhile, is looking for junior Spartan football players. You can call Club President Brandon Miller. 678-316-4510 for prices and other information. That's 678-316-4510, Junior Spartan Football. Meanwhile, you competitive tennis players get ready for the Gainesville Park and Rec's Northeast Tennis Championships at Gainesville's Longwood Tennis Center. That'll be all in various classes and divisions for players 16 and up, and it starts on August the 16th. Call Gary Sherby, the tournament director, Gary Sherby, 678-410-1608, for more information on that. And again, that's 678-410-1608. For you triathletes, the Tacoa Triathlon coming up August 28th at 7.30 in the morning at the Georgia Baptist Conference Center in Tacoa. That's at least where it starts. You can go to www.active.com to pre-register. The Lanier Running Club had a number of athletes qualify for the AFTA National Track and Field Championships in Wichita, Kansas this week. Now, last week we told you about the region champs, Gainesville's Sarah Hayes in the heptathlon, Franklin County's Greg Moxley in the high jump, and Flowery Branch grad Kenny Slavik in the steeplechase, and rising Falcon senior Austin Eckenroth, who was second in the pole vault. We also mentioned North Hall's Laura Manson as a steeplechase qualifier, but we also need to mention that North Hall's Gabrielle Hoffman qualified in the pole vault, and Gil Hoffman also qualified in the triple jump. I understand all of those folks were not able to go, but we should have an update on who went and how they did next week. Now, by the way, if you have an event you'd like us to take a look at or a story you'd like to feature, shoot us some information. 
pictures and the like at North Georgia Productions at Charter.net. That's North GA Productions at Charter.net. We'll see what we can do. Until next week, I'm Gary Glenn, Hall County Sports.